using visual maths to support subtraction. Our first problem is 35 subtract 17. Firstly, we draw 35 that has three tens. and five units. Because we are subtracting, we do not draw the bottom number like we would do for addition. Next, we think five units subtract seven units. Of course, we can't do this, so we cross out a tower of 10 and break it up into 10 units. Now we can subtract 7 units and we cross these off as we do so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and we count how many are left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and we write this in the units column. After that we subtract 1, 10 and count how many are left and write that in the tens column. Our next problem is 52 subtract 25. Firstly, we need to draw 52, which has five tens. And two units. We then think Two units subtract five units, which we can't do. So we cross out a tower of 10 and break it back up into 10 units. Now we can subtract five units and we cross them off as we do so. One, two, three, four, five. And we count how many are left and write these in the units column. We now need to take away two tens. One, two, and count how many are left. And write these in the tens column. We can also use this technique to break up hundreds back into towers of 10. Our problem is 124 subtract 52. Firstly, we need to draw 124, which has 100, two tens and four units. Firstly, we think four units subtract two units, which we can do quite easily. So we cross them off, one, two, and count how many are left. We then write them in the units column. Next, we think two towers of 10 subtract five towers of 10. We can't do this, so we cross out the 100 and draw 10 towers of 10. Remembering that 10 units go together to make one tower of 10. 10 towers of 10 also go together to make 100. We can now subtract five towers of 10. One, two, three, four, five. And again, count how many we've got left and write this in the tens column. We then count how many hundreds we've got left. In this case, we have no hundreds because we broke them up into towers of 10. Our final problem is 253 subtract 65. Firstly, we draw 253. That's 200, five tens, and three units. We then think three units subtract five units. We obviously can't do this, so we cross out a tower of 10 and break it up into 10 units. And draw this in the units column. Now we can subtract five units and cross them off as we do so. 
One, two, three, four, five, and count how many are left before writing them in the units column. We now need to subtract six tiles of ten. Of course, we can't do this, so we now have to cross out a hundred and break that up into ten tiles of ten, drawing them in the tens column. We can now subtract six tiles of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, and count how many tiles of ten we have left, and write it in the tens column. We then count how many hundreds we've got left, and write it in the hundreds column.